Hi, this is Dave with Black Barrel Doors, blackbarreldoors.net. Today we're going to be talking about the Hammerhead Barrel System. We were uh, really happy to see that Hammerhead was willing to send us one out. It's a great barrel system. We've had some really great success and some little weird stuff that we're going to talk about it here in a minute. We're using their MoFo carbon fiber, uh, their barrel that is designed for speedball. They make a lot of great barrels designed for their their reverse porting for some of their scenario type barrels. But we decided we're more speedball players, or I'm more speedball players, so I really wanted the speedball barrel. The uh, kit came with three backs, sells for $181. It came with a uh, ball sizing kit, you know, a little, little gauge to size your balls, the barrel, and three backs, and a great case, which we really liked. Now, the uh, one thing we've noticed with this barrel is you have to sit there and spend time with a chrono. This barrel is set, I had to, we went back and forth, set it a little high, set it a little low. 280 feet per second seems to be where this barrel likes to shoot at. And when it is shooting properly, just really rails. We've been actually very impressed with it shooting accurately as long as you have it set properly. We're still getting the outliners every so often that are shooting off in the middle of nowhere. But truthfully, I've been very happy lately. I mean, we've spent, you know, a couple cases of ammo through it right now to get that. Now, um, we're shooting Carnage paint, which is a great paint. Shooting the barrel, 280 feet per second on my Mini. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to step back. We're going to do it 60, 80, 100, and, and 120 feet and see what kind of things we're going to get. Now I'm going to leave you here, and Boots is going to call out the numbers that we're actually at so you can uh, kind of see how it's shooting. Now it's going to be a little hard because we put, like I said, a case and a half of paint in the target in the last 30 minutes. But um, you should be able to see basically where things are breaking and actually hear it when it actually tings off the actual center spot. So I'm going to step back and let's get to it. This is at 60 feet. Now we're moving back to 80 feet. Now we're shooting at 100 feet. And now we're shooting from 120 feet away. Now we're coming back to 60 feet. Just gonna rail off some. 